Hi everyone, Denny Sunderly here from Disney's Old Key West Resort. I am back with another Saturday Snacks recipe. If you have enjoyed um, the recipes coming from Ben or from Saturday Snacks with me so far, we are just so glad that you are here for another snack. This week, we are making guacamole. But before I get too far ahead of myself, just a reminder that this is a collaboration between Saturday Snacks on the Diz side of things and DVC Fan on the Disney Vacation Club side of things. And as such, we are duly sponsored by Dreams Unlimited Travel. Let the experts at Dreams Unlimited Travel help you plan your next Disney vacation. You can reach out to them today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com and you can also receive a free no obligation quote. We are also sponsored by World of DVC. World of DVC can help you with absolutely everything from resale contracts to renting out your DVC points to financing a DVC contract. And you can reach out to them today at worldofdvc.com. So to bring you up to speed, just in case you, uh, you missed one of the recipes along the line, one of the videos, we are here in a DVC um, villa and we are using, for the most part, the utensils, the supplies here in the kitchen. And as you can imagine, not everything is in this kitchen. There are some things in this kitchen, but if you've ever cooked in someone else's kitchen, you know that they may have different things than you have in your very own. So to be totally transparent and very clear, I brought my measuring spoons and I brought my measuring cups and I'm so glad that I did because it was a little taste of home and helped kind of ground me as I'm going, oh my gosh, I don't know this kitchen or anything in it. So here on Saturday Snacks, if you've never read one of the Saturday Snacks articles, um, just to bring you up to speed on that, we bring the magic of Disney, Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line snacks into our very own kitchens. So if you're watching from home and you are 900 miles away from the magic, it's a little way for you to bring a bit of the magic into wherever you are. And it can be a really good thing as in today's snack. We are making Paradiso 37's traditional Mexican guacamole. Now let me be very clear. Um, buying, I, I, <laughs> I had never bought an avocado before this week. Not in my live long days have I stopped in front of an avocado in the produce section and said, you're coming home with me but today was that day. I needed help, shout out to the guy and the, the Publix, the bless the, the Publix team members at my local Publix, because I'm sure my name is gonna be in the break room at some point with a picture saying, do not help this crazy lady. But it's not up yet because the produce guy was so kind and so helpful. I asked him, I said, okay, I've never purchased an avocado. What am I looking for? He let me know we're looking for a brown, uh, brownish skinned avocado. You want it to be a little soft. And it was, these avocados were a dream to work with today. They were absolutely spot on perfect and not at all stressy because that was the part I was stressing out the very most. I actually did what I tell my readers <laughs> that they should do, but I do admit, I'm very clear, I never do myself. A mise en place, making sure that you have put all of your ingredients together, everything in its place, before you begin making your recipe. I actually did that with this one, so high five. Yay me, <laughs> I want a gold star or something. So what I did was I washed the avocados, I cut them in half, I got that pit out, and of course you can whack it with a knife and pull it out. These avocados were so ripe, I did not need to do that. The pits scooped right out. And so you wanna scoop the pulp of that avocado, four of them, into a mixing bowl and just let them hang out for a little bit. You want to juice two limes and put that in a little cup or a little bowl. And then you wanna cut up, um, a, you wanna dice a red onion. You'll need a quarter cup of diced red onion. Take, get that taken care of, get those tears out of the way. I had a little tear. I tried to hide it from you, Fiasco. <laughs> Fiasco's with me. Forgive me, Fiasco, for not mentioning that you are here. Bless your sweetheart. No problem at all. Corey Fiasco Naro, I tell you. Um, and then you want to do one or two Serrano peppers. I thought I purchased two. There was one in the bag. 
So heaven only knows where the other Serrano pepper ended up. I ate it. Oh, that just chomped it right down, did you? Fantastic. Fantastic. That's where it went. I don't, please don't do that at home, children. Don't do that. Don't do as Fiasco does. Um, you also want one medium Roma tomato. You want to take the seeds out of that. You don't want seeds swimming around in your guacamole. That's not going to be delicious. All right, so get that all diced up everything get your mise en place going you also want a tablespoon of fresh cilantro we've had such good smells going on in this kitchen this afternoon from the lime to the onion to the cilantro so if you're making this guacamole it's kind of a feast for the senses all the way through the entire process make sure you grab a bag of tortilla chips because how sad would that be for you to be in your dvc villa with freshly made guacamole and no chips. I mean, like you could dig your fingers in there and eat it. No, just get some chips. Make sure you order some chips or pick them up at the store on your way here. So what you want to do is when you have uh, the avocados in your bowl, you pour in the juice of two limes and you want to stir that avocado up. Make sure that all the avocado gets nice and coated in that lime juice. And then you get to go to town mashing those avocados. Now, this you need to channel a little bit of patience as kathy whirling says pack your patience with those avocados talk to them sweetly and maybe coax them into wanting to become nice mushy guacamole for you it took a little bit it took a little bit more effort than i think i realized it was going to take which is fine it really is after that point you can toss in everything the tomato goes in the serrano pepper goes in all nice and diced of course cilantro goes in um, and the onion goes in you mix it all around and as step number four says in the cookbook you want to serve it with tortilla chips you also get to use um, salt like a coarse salt and a black pepper um, as just according to taste so however salty however peppery you want it to be and then invite friends <laughs> and then eat eat the guacamole and enjoy it. Um, we get this recipe out of the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival cookbook, Taste Your Way Around the World. It's by Pam Brandon and the Disney chefs. And they used to do one, from what I've gathered, um, annually. So this was the 17th annual. This is the cookbook for the 17th annual Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. They no longer do that. Um, but, they've, uh, but the cookbooks, if you can get your hands on one of the festival cookbooks, please buy it. It's so good. They're just so good. Um, so anyhow, this is Paradiso. Like I said, Paradiso 37's guacamole. You'll find Paradiso 37 at Disney Springs. I've actually never eaten at Paradiso 37, but I believe like I have now. I feel like I have. Friends, this guacamole is lovely. It's chunky. You can see the tomato. You can see the pepper in it and the cilantro and the onion, and it's delicious. When you bite into it, because we were all chowing down on it earlier, it's, you, you, it's very lime forward. And so I think when I make it next time, I'll back off on the lime just a hair. Um, the lime juice does make it a little bit, not runny, but it has, it does have, although it's sitting here now, so I think as it sits, it kind of solidifies a little bit more, but it has just so many bright flavors, and it's so nice. And how cool would this be if you've got some extra time on your Disney vacation or you've got some NFL fans and it's football season and you come back on a Sunday afternoon and you turn on the TV, you whip this up because this did not take long to make and you have a snack, a freshly made snack, a Dis Walt Disney World snack while you're on your Disney World vacation. It's pretty great. I'm going to take a quick bite. Mmm. It's so good. I made guacamole. I made guacamole. I don't know about you, but during the pandemic, I adopted some foods, some new foods that I really like, guacamole being one of them. So the fact that I can make it now myself is pretty fantastic and so exciting. If you try this dish at home, please let us know. We would love Fasco and I would love to be able to celebrate with you as you make this guacamole. I mean, who doesn't love guacamole? I thought I didn't until I actually tried it, and I love it. 
Same, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I mean, and I don't. It doesn't have to be fancy guacamole. It can be Chipotle's guacamole. Yeah, They've absolutely. Got a great guacamole. My goodness. So let us know in the comments section below if you try it because um, we want to do a little happy dance with you. Um, and again, if you want to book your next Disney vacation and you want to support the channel, consider consider booking with Dreams Unlimited Travel at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. The expert agents can help you out. And if you're interested in Disney Vacation Club in renting some points or getting a resale contract or financing at all, check out World of DVC and let the experts over there help you out as well. Thank you so much for joining along on the fun today. Definitely check out Saturday Snacks. If you haven't ever read uh, the articles, obviously they come out on Saturday, <laughs> Saturday morning. Um, I tell the good, the bad, and everything in between with making the Disney Snacks at home. Love for you to join us at wdwinfo.com. Thanks for stopping by everyone. Take care, bye.